the back. It's the first side of the car. Take your foot in. Watch your head. This is State Superior Court, and I'm Kelly Andrews, reporting for Wolfpack Reality TV. The dispute today will be handled in civil court, where the defendants, if found responsible, will be required to pay just monetary compensation to the plaintiffs. Since the defendants do not have any criminal charges being brought against them today, they are not facing any prison sentences. Both parties attempted mediation However, it failed in that neither side could agree. They have waited two years for this case to come to trial. We now enter the courtroom where the bailiff is opening the proceedings. All rise. Oh yay, oh yay, oh yay. The Superior Court for the District of Wolfpack is now open for the regular dispatch of business. The Honorable Thomas J. Demick present and presiding. Please draw near and be attentive. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Morning, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I appreciate you coming this morning. I realize with all the construction downtown, it's a hassle finding a parking spot, and I appreciate you bearing with us. Um, I want to remind you again, as I told you yesterday, that you're not to discuss this case with anybody else, or any other jury member or anyone else, until you've heard all the evidence and heard the arguments of counsel and my instructions. Until that time, just refrain from talking about this case. Um, once everything is concluded, you'll be excused to the jury room, and at that point, you can freely discuss the case among yourselves. Are there any motions from the plaintiff? No, Your Honor. Any motions from the defendant? <laughs> no, Your Honor. Very well, and the plaintiff may begin their case. Your Honor, the plaintiff's called the defendant, Lori Anderson, to the stand. Ms. Anderson. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Do you solemnly swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help me. I swear. Please have a seat. State your name for the record, please. My name is Lori Anderson. And Miss Anderson, where are you employed? I am. Um... Are you working today? I'm not working. I don't have a job. How do you support yourself? I live with relatives. And have you ever been married? Three times. Are you currently married? I'm divorced and looking for work. I'm not doing too well. Are you finding any work? No. I saw a lawyer about filing for bankruptcy, but I didn't even have enough money to do that. Ms. Anderson, how do you know the two plaintiffs? Do I have to answer that? Yes, you do. I had an accident that was my fault. Mr. Edwards' car was totaled. His daughter, Susie Edwards, was injured. At the time of this accident, were you working? Yes. And who were you working for? Dale Lawson, the owner of Lawson Landscaping. Is Dale Lawson in this courtroom? He's sitting right there. Your Honor, would you please have Dale Lawson stand? Mr. Lawson, would you please stand? you go to work for Lawson Landscaping? Mm. The Monday before the accident. What was your job at Lawson Landscaping? I drove the company pickup truck to make deliveries to all the landscaping job sites. Now when you went to work for Lawson Landscaping, were you asked to sign anything? Yes. Um, I was asked to sign a paper saying that I wasn't supposed to drink on the job or do anything like that and I wasn't supposed to break any traffic laws. Permission to approach the witness, Your Honor? Granny.
I now hand you a document previously marked as plaintiff exhibit number one. Do you recognize it? Yeah, it's the letter of employment I signed my first day. Thank you. Thank you. Your Honor, I'd like to introduce into evidence plaintiff exhibit number one. Any objection? No objections, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. So received. Thank you. Would you please read this document for the court today? It says at the top, letter of employment. The employee of Lawson Landscaping, Lori Anderson, agrees that while she is at work and on duty, she will not consume alcohol, smoke marijuana, or use illegal drugs. At all times, she will operate the company pickup in a safe manner. Lori Anderson will obey all of the traffic laws of this state. It's dated and signed by both myself and Dale Lawson. Ms. Anderson, what date was the document signed? Uh, Monday the 15th. What day was the accident? Um, Friday the 19th, four days later. Thank you. When did you get paid? That Friday. I'm, I met Dale at the bank and um, signed the check and took my cash to go have lunch. Where did you have lunch? Tater's Bar has lunch specials if you sit at the bar. And do you remember what you had for lunch that day? I wasn't very hungry. I was thirsty though, so I had a couple, three beers. Did you happen to meet anyone while you were there at the bar? I met Tom, a truck driver. We had a couple more drinks and decided that after he had some deliveries to make, we'd head back to my place. I also had a couple more deliveries to make myself. He was planning to come to my apartment later. I never did get to eat lunch. No further questions. Uh, you may cross-examine this witness. Are you doing anything today about your drinking? I was thinking about going to AA for alcoholics, but with no car, I have to walk most places. No further questions, Your Honor. Uh, call your next witness. You may be excused. Your Honor, we call Dale Lawson of Lawson Landscaping. Mr. Lawson. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Do you solemnly swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you? I swear. Please be seated. Please identify yourself. I'm Dale Lawson of Lawson Landscaping. Mr. Lawson, how many people do you employ at your company? I'm a one-man operation. I do hire day help on a seasonal basis. How do you know Lori Anderson? I hired her. Did you write the employment letter? Yes, I did. Permission to approach, Your Honor? You may. Mr. Lawson, I show you this document previously identified as plaintiff exhibit number one. For the record, have you signed this document? Yes, I signed it. Mr. Lawson, was it important to you and your company to hire someone that did not have a drinking problem? Um, yes. Did you see Lori Anderson's driver's license before hiring? I really don't remember. Would you be surprised to learn that her driver's license had been revoked? Your Honor, I'd like to request that you would instruct the witness to speak audibly and also note for the record that his answer to the previous question was no. Yes, this is being recorded, and so it's important that you speak audibly so the transcript will pick that up. Yes, sir. Would you be surprised to learn that she has been convicted of a driving while impaired charge? No. Would you be surprised to learn that Ms. Anderson had been convicted of a second driving while impaired charge? No. Mr. Lawson, would you be surprised to learn that Ms. Anderson has been convicted of a third driving while impaired charge? No. Would you be surprised to learn that Ms. Anderson has been convicted of a fourth driving while impaired charge? I honestly had no clue she had four DWIs. Mr. Lawson, did you even check her driver's license or ask for one? No. Mr. Lawson, what would happen if Ms. Anderson drank on the job? Oh, I'd fire her on the spot. No further questions, Your Honor. Uh, you may cross-examine this witness. Why did you not find out about Lori Anderson's driving record? Well, you know, I was really busy that morning, and she seemed like a 
a fairly competent person. You know, she looked, she looked better than the other people that had applied for the job. No further questions. You may re-examine the witness. No redirect, Your Honor. Okay, you may be excused. Call your next witness. Thank you. The plaintiffs call Sam Edwards to the stand. Mr. Edwards. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Do you solemnly swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you? I swear. Please be seated. Please identify yourself. Uh, my name is Sam Edwards. And Mr. Edwards, how do you know the defendant, Laurie Anderson? Well, I never met her. On that Friday night, she ran a red light at high speed and plowed into our car. And who was in the car with you that evening? Our daughter, Susie Edwards. My wife was donating blood at Rex Hospital, so I was driving Susie to her last ballet lesson. Now, why do you say last ballet lesson? Because it was her last ballet lesson. Tell me your name. What's your name? Did you see what you did sir, to my daughter? Step, step away. Step away, sir. I'm step sorry. away. Sir, sir, I want you to relax. We're going to go around to the front and we're going to get ready to go to the hospital, okay? Uh, Susie, I'm going to be riding in the front. Foot in. Watch your head. <laughs> Susie always loved ballet, ever since she was a little girl. I. I have these fond memories of her dancing in our living room. She was about six. So cute in her little pink tutu. I could watch her for hours. Daddy's little princess. Was Susie successful in ballet? Oh, she was the best. She practiced all the time. When she wasn't sleeping, she was dancing. Two years ago, she won the grand championship in the state. That's when she got the audition at Juilliard. We were flying to New York the next day. Will Susie still have the opportunity to go to Juilliard? Susie will never go to Juilliard. Susie will never dance again. Daddy. Permission to show the jury, Your Honor? Yes. No further questions for this witness. Any cross-examination? No, Your Honor. Any further motions by either side? No, no, no Your Honor. Honor. And very well, the defendants may now address the jury. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client, Lori Anderson, she's proved herself incapable of controlling her drinking. Now, she's had four DWIs, and today, she's penniless. She doesn't even have the money to file for bankruptcy. That's a sad situation, but she can't pay anything for this plaintiff's medical bills. It's a painful, painful situation. But Lori Anderson today, she survives on government handouts. She doesn't even... She doesn't even have a dime. Call her own, not a dime. She can't pay anything for the injuries and the grief that she's caused this family. Thank you. The attorney for Lawson Landscaping, wish to make closing order. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you've all heard my client, Dale Lawson. Dale tried to prevent this situation by requiring his employee to promise to drive according to the law. The written letter of employment was to make sure the new employee understood the importance of not drinking and driving safely. 
In a few moments, you will all receive final instructions from the judge. His Honor will tell you that when an employee goes out on her own frolic, not doing the company's business, and is drinking, or is drinking while on the job, the company cannot be held responsible. Lawson Landscaping should not have to pay for this terrible mistake by the employee. That is the law. Thank you. Plaintiffs wish to make a closing argument. Yes, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the sad truth. This piece of paper will never make things right for Susie. Dale Lawson could have and should have done his homework and checked into the employee's driving record, but he didn't. Mr. Lawson even neglected to even ask to see Laurie Anderson's driver's license. This is not only wrong, it's negligent hiring. It's dereliction of duty, pure and simple. Mr. Lawson's failure to do a background check permitted that devastating drunk to wreak monumental damage in that young girl's life. We've shown here today that Susie's life's never going to be the same again. And out of the decision's up to you. It's yours. Let's make sure that we make the right one. Let's see to it that Susie ends up with justice. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you've heard all the evidence, heard the arguments of counsel, and heard my instructions as to what the law is. It's now time for you to deliberate. Uh, the first thing you need to do when you go in the jury room is to elect a four-person to guide lead your deliberations. Once you've reached a unanimous decision, you should report back to us. In the meantime, uh, we encourage you to use your best common sense and to remember the evidence presented and the law that's applied and render a good and fair judgment. Uh, you're now free to go to the jury room. Has the jury reached a decision? Yes. We have reached a unanimous decision. We find... You have now heard all of the evidence in the court case of the devastating drunk. How did the jury decide? Email your response to ron underscore campbell at ncsu.edu. Then you'll find out the jury's verdict. This is Wolfpack Reality Television, and I'm Kelly Andrews. <laughs>